the day I decided I need a calling and passion in my life, I decided to found my nonprofit organization, be, decided to be a founder for, of a nonprofit organization. And that's the day I also promised myself one thing that is, I made this decision to found this organization and after this one, even I will not listen to myself one day to stop this organ, stop working for this organization until there is someone, a superman or superwoman or hundreds of superwomen show up, at least one who can completely replace me. So if you're watching this video, I'm John, I'm a CIO for a billion dollar corporation at this stage. At the same time, um, I'm a founder of a nonprofit organization too. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you how is my day as a founder. Let's get started. Like, as I say that, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a CIO. If you're watching this video, I'm a CIO for a billion dollar corporation. And beside that, I'm also a founder too. So with that, Monday to Saturday or Friday, I work for the, my, my CIO job. And the weekend is the time when I actually go to the nonprofit organization. So this is how my weekend start. Normally I wake up around 6, 6.30 a.m. And then I get my breakfast. And then on the breakfast, normally I like to eat a lot of vegetables and bread and, and, and protein, particularly fish or meat. And then um, I like to take, grab a coffee. Normally my coffees are uh, no sugars uh, and completely black or a little bit of milk is fine. And then normally I come to the uh, uh, nonprofit organization VSHR around 9 or 8.30 a.m. And then when I start coming to, to the force, the first thing I do, I look through about all those requests coming through to our PMO system uh, of the nonprofit organization. Then I also look to it as well. Um, the ERP system is any pending messages as waiting for me to reply or any particular form request or access request I have not given. So the goal is like, I like to go there at least 30 minutes and normally schedule my meetings. So normally my meetings started around nine o'clock and, and it moved forward until, until five or 6 PM. So during these meetings, there are a few things I do. Uh, there most of the time in the weekend there's at least one workshops i i run so everything i do in a, a non-profit organization is actually around how do i empower all these people who are working in this organization so they can be most successful so right now there are being 350 people in a non-profit organization what are the thing i should do so it's going to be more easier for them and more inspire them to move forward and really put a big puncher, a more stronger puncher on this problem for bringing the goods for more people in the community, more and more people. Uh, we've been often talking about these numbers. Um, our impacted go in last 40 years, uh, in 2020 so far, like a half million people. And everybody is, it's been so thirsty to bring it to a million people. And how do you do that? So we do that one. We have a series of meetings, right? So what I do, I have different type of meetings. Some, some type of meetings are very much about tactical meetings. One of the example, let's say about Vietnam's amazing student is a contest. So in the contest, we're gonna organize a contest in next final rounds in next few weeks of time. So how organizing that final round contest, of the events, it's a very tactical meeting. So there will be uh, all the organizing team members will be in the meeting with me and to, to, to drive and discuss forward. Uh, let's say another one, uh, strategic meeting, there's a type two. And the strategic meeting is going to be very slightly, very much different into it. So that's one example. We have a scholarship, the Genius of Skill program. And now yearly we're giving 100 scholarships. But the aim is to go give it to 200 scholarships. How do you can really do that one? So it's actually very strategic discussions with, with, the, with the scholarship organizing teams. So in these our meetings are are actually also like a training workshops as well too. In this one, the way I do this one, because I, my focus is about, not about just throwing problem to them, but actually being with them and help them and, and inspire them and, and do everything I know, give it to them so they can actually move forward out and, and try to solve this problem. And finally, we really do, that's the goal. So um, I, the last type was is more about the cultural type of meeting, which we I normally don't like to do in the weekends, but Sometimes it's actually most of the time it happens in the weekends too when we have some kind of uh, VHR members day, VHSR uh, 
uh, uh, Founders Day and where we celebrated a lot of cultural time when we, we connect to each other, we felt good about each other, we're sharing about great appreciations and so on. So that, that's my very much in the morning session where I do the tactical and strategic meeting. And this afternoon I start, I, I grab my lunch to save my time in the efficiency because you can understand, I basically shrink my whole one weeks of work to two days of work. So it's, it's, I have to find out every possible day, how do I get more efficient on the students so I can shrink five days into two days. So with this approach, um, um, I, I normally like you take the lunch in, in the office and then I grab my coffee in the office as well too and then right back to the meetings because it's my all five, six, seven meetings have all been scheduled to meet different leads and, and do this tactical and strategic meeting and also the workshops. So in the afternoon sessions, uh, I, I'm more focused about discussing about more operational meeting and, and also about strategic, some strategic meeting too. My afternoon session is also been basically booked for meeting new people, so meeting different kind of partners and, and helping them and, and bringing them on board and, and join, uh, uh, be part of the, of the initiatives with HGD 17. Um, we are expanding a lot of a lot of people. So, and if you're watching this video in 2020, I'm shooting the video right now. We got like 350 people, but we're aiming to go to 500 people. So, meeting a lot of bring people into organization is so much important because end of the day, we are a nonprofit organization. It's a group of people who have great inspiration and great passion for solving communities. So, we we all constantly constantly looking for. Uh, Continuously looking for great, passionate people who are, who, who wanted to work on solve different social problems and bring the happiness and, and solution to the mass amount of people to join our team as well too. So there is a series of interview happens in the afternoon. So, and then normally I, I like to, to wrap my day around five or six p.m. So before I wrapping my day, normally I like to take, uh, during my, um, during my day, normally I like to get, uh, take a lot of photos of, of different works we have done. And normally before I leave the office, I like to send some of the best photos to 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 our ERP system, so every team member know that what actually been happened. Sometimes I, I also sometimes if there is some key decision been happen or I have to do any kind of particular special assignment, I will draft it down and send it to announcement to the ERP system to every member of ESHR already know what I'm going to do. And beside that, I also definitely walk away with with one of the notes which I will be following up during the week, during my break time, maybe the evening time. So the team members can really understand and really inspired and really been directed to achieve to the goals where I will be back on the next Saturday again. Now, you, 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 maybe some of you have been thinking that, hey, John, um, you've been working as a CIO for a whole week and now a weekend. When do you rest? What is your rest? For me, it's a, it's a, this is my rest. I think this, this is makes me happy because when I, I could work on something to make my, the people in VSHR to success, their problem solving skill, improve themselves, make them more successful in our organization or, and help them build a skill set, which make them more successful in their life. I think that's, that's, that's bring me happiness. I see that they are become successful. They are, they are cheering. They have been doing high fives. Our pro initiatives help a lot of people in the community. So definitely that, that, that's my, that's my happiness and that's my, my relaxing. And, um, I feel great in the evening. Uh, and then I next day back to work, which is my career and jobs. So that's my a day of a, of a founder in VSHR. And if you are out there, if you want to want to leave a founder life, uh, if you have any particular tips or you, you want, want to give some any kind of giveaway to us or any kind of suggestion to us, put a comment below. We'll love to hear from you. The best.